Today we bring you our selection of the 10 best e-learning platforms. All of them come with the basic tools needed for online training, although they differ in depth and scope. Let's get started. We'll begin with one we know quite well, our own e-learning platform, Evil Campus. It's a cloud-based platform that will be ready to deliver online training in just a matter of seconds. This all-in-one solution has become a benchmark for online training in thousands of companies and training centers across 35 countries, as it manages to reduce both the effort and investment required for its implementation and use. Let's start with the positive points. You'll have it up and running straight away, so if you want to launch an e-learning project without delay, this is the one for you. Quick migrations can be carried out from different platforms. It has a responsive and reliable support team. It's scalable, so you can start with 50 students and grow to include thousands. It's quick and easy when it comes to creating courses. Lastly, it receives frequent updates, so you'll always have a modern and up-to-date platform. As for the negative aspects, since it's a closed-source platform, it doesn't allow for custom developments. Who is it for? Well, we recommend it both for training centers, academies, business schools, as well as all kinds of companies and organizations. As for the price, Evil Campus stands out from the rest thanks to its flexible pricing, which allows you to pay according to the number of students you have each month. What's more, if you like, you can try it out for free for 14 days. Now we come to a classic, Moodle, the most well-known and widely used open source learning management system in the world. In this case, it is characterized by having a network of certified partners authorized to provide support and services related to its implementation and use. The positives, let's get to them. It offers a high degree of customization. It's also scalable and has thousands of plugins, including artificial intelligence ones, to enhance and expand the platform's capabilities. It has a mobile app and, what's more, boasts a large community of users with whom you can share information and experiences. What about the negatives? It requires technical knowledge and, as a result, can be complex or difficult to manage. And linked to this, it's important to know that it lacks official technical support. So, who is it for? This is for official academic institutions universities and public schools with the technical resources to ensure it is well managed and maintained. Suitable for companies, consultancies, NGOs or professional associations. As for the price, in this case there is neither a free trial nor a demo, and that's because it doesn't need one, it's free. That said, remember that in the end there are costs related to installation, maintenance, support, and customization. Just like Moodle, Chimilo is an open source LMS with a strong presence in the corporate sector. At the moment, it has more than 21 million users around the world. Let's look at the positives. First of all, it's customizable. It allows you to install plugins directly from the platform itself. It offers a fairly simplified user experience and, what's more, it's flexible, letting you choose between self-hosting or external hosting services. It also has tools for collaborative work, and there are monthly Chami talks to learn from experts. In this case, Chamilo's official providers contribute to the development of the platform by providing patches and plugins. And on the negative side, it's important to know that it lacks technical support beyond what the community offers. On the other hand, in 2023, the number of security vulnerabilities discovered in its code increased. Security is also an important issue. Who is Chamilo for? It is aimed at educational institutions, academies, training centers, business schools, 
colleges and universities. To a lesser extent, it is used by companies, NGOs, governmental institutions. This platform is free, although in the end, just like Moodle, it involves costs related to installation, maintenance, support, customization, and other aspects. Among Totara's solutions is Totara Learn, an open source LMS that can adapt very well to the demands of businesses. So much so that it provides other complementary products for performance management, professional development, and collaboration. Let's start with the positive aspects. It is based on Moodle, but with additional features for learning management. In addition, it is highly customizable and scalable, includes badges to motivate student achievements, and has a mobile app. The negative side, basically, is just one point. The learning curve can be steep for some users. Who is this platform for? Mainly for large companies, non-profit organizations, and other organizations. As for the price, in this case, it does not offer a free trial, only a scheduled demo with a partner. Although it is open source software, it is not free and the prices are not displayed on their website. Next platform in our ranking, Cornerstone LMS, a commercial platform that is very much focused on businesses and has a strong presence in both the United States and the United Kingdom. Its talent experience platform merges the LMS and LXP platforms, focusing on driving business through talent management strategy and results. Let's look at the positives. First of all, it is scalable. It has a focus on developing competences and skills. It offers personalized development plans and, to be honest, it also has good technical support and a global community of more than 6,000 members. What about the negatives? The learning curve is quite steep and the price is also high. Who do we recommend it for? This cornerstone platform is mainly recommended for organizations such as consultancies, advisory firms, medium and large companies, foundations, associations, and professional bodies. As for the price, in this case, there is no free trial, but you can schedule a demo. The pricing structure is thoughtfully tiered according to your specific needs, and there are also additional costs associated with the initial installation, subsequent customization, and ongoing maintenance, so it's always best to contact the company directly to obtain this crucial information firsthand. And now we come to Decebo, undoubtedly another platform that had to be included in this ranking. This time, we have a commercial SaaS platform for corporate training that enjoys a great reputation in the US market. The positives. It's powerful and scalable, uses artificial intelligence algorithms to ensure more immersive experiences, and also includes elements for gamification such as badges, prizes, and rewards. On the downside, the interface is quite complicated and requires technical knowledge. And, on the other hand, there's the price. It's expensive for small businesses. It's aimed at organizations and companies of any size, although, as we mentioned, less so for smaller ones. And as for the price, there's no free trial, but you can schedule a demo to see it in action. The prices are scalable, but to find out what they are, you need to make that request. Next platform in our ranking, Open edX, is an open source LMS co-founded by Harvard University and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Despite being relatively young, it has positioned itself as an alternative to Moodle for educational institutions around the world. The positive aspects, firstly, it's customizable, also scalable to a large number of students, and it also has a very simple interface. In this case, it's suitable for massive open courses, the well-known MOOCs. It has its own comprehensive gamification module, 
and the Open edX team regularly organizes monthly meetings with EdTech experts to make the most effective use of this powerful tool. The negative points, because there are some as well, are the initial setup, which can be complex and require technical skills. In addition, it lacks support unless you hire the managed service from an external provider. All in all, there is a large community behind it and it provides a Slack chat channel. Who is this platform for? Well, it's also for official academic institutions like universities and public schools, but it's also used by organizations, companies, and other government institutions. And now for the price. It offers a managed service with a 30-day free trial and a demo with no strings attached. As for the pricing models, they are based on a monthly subscription, and if you use it in a self-managed way, it's free. Although, as you know, in these cases there will be costs related to installation, maintenance, support, and customization, among others. As expected, we suggest Google's tool, which, although not a traditional LMS and somewhat limited in terms of features, is a good option to complement face-to-face training or blended learning. Google Classroom is included in the Google Workspace for Education package. Positive aspects, it operates in the cloud, course creation and use are straightforward, it integrates easily with other Google services, and it also has a mobile app. And as for the negatives, it only offers support through its Classroom Help Center and the Google Classroom community. In addition, it has fewer advanced features compared to other platforms we've looked at. In this case, it is usually used by official educational institutions such as universities, schools, and centers that use Google Workspace for education. It is also used by other organizations such as training companies and NGOs. Now, let's talk about the price. It has a free version for teachers and for educational institutions that meet the requirements set by Google. The rest of the subscriptions are paid, education standard, teaching and learning upgrade, and education plus. Of course, you can try it out for free. Naturally, Blackboard Learn is another of the best commercial e-learning platforms for university education. Its improved version, Blackboard Learn Ultra, is more user-friendly, offers new features, and is optimized for mobile devices. Let's look at the positive aspects. It's a very robust platform that doesn't produce errors or problems. What's more, it's scalable to large numbers of users and features an AI design assistant, an integrated originality checker to prevent plagiarism, as well as a mobile app and consultancy and support services. Negative aspects. Its sleek interface may not be intuitive as it claims, requires technical knowledge. Also, the price is very high. Who is this platform for? Mainly, it's for large educational and official institutions such as universities and public schools. It's also used by corporate and governmental organizations. Regarding the price, it doesn't offer a free trial, but you can request a demo. As we mentioned, the prices are high, so to get a quote you need to contact Blackboard directly. And we've reached the last platform in this selection. We do so with the flagship solution from the American company Instructure. Specifically, Canvas LMS is a platform used by hundreds of universities, schools, and school districts. You'll find it available in two different versions, an open source one for institutions with technical capability and a commercial one ready to use without having to deal with technical or implementation details. The positive, it's attractive and user-friendly design. What's more, it's customizable in the open source version. It also features a repository of content and learning resources, the Canvas catalog, in the commercial version. It also has the Canvas mobile app, 
although there are limitations on mobile devices, as not all features are available. And finally, it's worth mentioning that it has a user community of over 2 million members. And the downsides are the initial learning curve and the advanced features that come with additional costs. In this case, the platform is recommended for official academic institutions such as universities and public schools. As for the price, it has a free version which, as we know, will be subject to costs related to installation, maintenance, support and customization, among others. And it also has a commercial version with a subscription-based pricing model. In this case, you have the option to try it for free or request a demo. So, which one should you choose? That's the key question. It's impossible to decide just by looking at a few comparisons. The first thing is to be clear about other aspects, such as the profile of our business, how we intend to use it, how involved we plan to be, our budget, and how we would like it to work. In the next video, we'll explain all of this so you can make the right decision. And that's our ranking of the best e-learning platforms. If you'd like to share your opinion or have any questions, you can leave us a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.